here, I'm going to show you how to run a uh, temperature stress test on the uh, Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 here. So if we go over to my uh, website here, we're going to do an update, then we're going to install a software called Stress, then we're going to PIB install. So let's get going. And I already uh, have this installed, I believe, but uh, we'll see. <clears throat> now, we're not going to run this uh, very long due to the purpose of the video, but uh, we'll uh, show you how to do it here. So we're going to let that install, but like I said, I believe I already have it installed. So we'll do a control L to clear that. So we'll come back over and as you can see, we need to make a folder. So we can uh, just go here and make a folder and we could just call it temp. You can call it whatever you feel like, but we'll just call it temp. So now that the software is installed, we're going to go ahead and paste in the following command here. Now, this is how you run the program, and it's going to put, output a file called test.out. Now, you can rename the test to whatever you feel like. Now, if you see this, we've got a dash D and an I, and I have them set on 300. So it's going to idle for 300 seconds before and after the test. <clears throat> so once it stabilizes the temperature, it will uh, wait 300 seconds. Now, the 300 is however long we want to uh, run the test. Now you can change these values to whatever you feel like. And obviously the four cores and the test file, then there'll be another file you'll see here and so on. So uh, we're running the four cores, test file, 300, uh, 300, for the D and 300 for the I, but like I said, you could change that to whatever. So what we can do is, for the purpose of this video, we could just change that to 100, and we could change that to 200. So now it's just gonna wait on uh, stable, temperature and once it starts it'll put it'll start uh, doing the temperature and it, uh, if we go back over here to my website <clears throat> it's going to run between you know you can change the different uh, frequency limits on it if you want here on this big command there but uh, it'll, it should go up to about like 1500 megahertz. Uh, now, if you got your Pi overclocked, you're going to have to change these values, at least this one, to maybe 2100 megahertz or whatever you may have your Pi overclocked to. So now you can see we got a baseline. So now it's going to start uh, doing some, uh, spitting out some temperatures. So let me pause this and I'll be back. Back, and as you can see, the test is running. Now it's going to run for uh, 200 seconds. Now, if you look up here at the time when I stop the video and I'm back, it takes several minutes at times for the uh, temperature to stabilize a little bit before the program will start running. So uh, uh, just be patient. 
So now it's just going to be idle for uh, 200 seconds before it starts really getting into it. So uh, we'll see here. And as you can see, it shows the temperature and the frequency. Then uh, here soon, the frequency uh, should start going up. To put the stress on the to see what the temperature gets to now like i said i'm using a raspberry pi 4 to 4 gig version with no heat sink or no uh fan tower of any kind or whatever on it it's just bare pie so we're not afraid to let it get a little warm not going to hurt nothing so So uh, we'll let this run and uh, I'll be right back. So now we're up to uh, 1500 megahertz. And uh, as you can see, the temperature is definitely rising from around 47, 48 Celsius to uh, 62 Celsius. So it is definitely rising the temperature up. So I believe this test will run for a hundred seconds, then it'll idle for 200 seconds. I think that's what I did the command for. And after that, then it'll be over. Then we can uh, graph this out into a uh, PNG file picture. So you can actually see the frequency and the temperature on a chart. So once this is done, I'll do the command and uh, show you the picture. So I'll be back again. The test is done. We can run the following command here to output to output the uh, the PNG file that we want so now that that's done we can just go up here and click on our folder click on our temp and now that we open this up we can make it bigger here so as you can see here here's the temp the blue line and the orangish colored line is the uh, CPU frequency and as you can see, we ran it idle for 200 seconds, ran the test for 100 seconds, dropped back down idle for another 200 seconds. And as you can see, the temperature stayed pretty stable. Then obviously it rose up and it started to decline and slowly go back down. Now, like I said, you can adjust the uh, command to run uh, longer, shorter, whatever you want so if you don't want it to idle very long you can change that and your duration of the test you can change that and remember this is all in seconds then obviously your core then the file name so hopefully this helps out uh, I'll throw a link in the description to my website and uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for another one don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe